Beats, what's good? It's too cold on the stream. Yurt, what's good, my guy? Welcome. Pound Beats, what up? But you over there pounding up, huh? We got questions. We got questions. Man, I don't even want to listen to music. I just want to talk about... Uh, I just want to talk about Drake, Kendrick, J. Cole, and uh, World War III. <laughs> That's about, and I'm not talking about the rappers. I'm talking about at World War, potential World War III. Fucking Iran and Israel. Get their shit together. We ain't got time for all that shit. We ain't got time for all that. What's up, Dick McGuffin? Welcome. Brightonic, welcome. What's good, my guy? Yeah, are y'all with, uh, so who y'all got so far in round one? Y'all got, uh, Kendrick, y'all got Drake, y'all got Cole, even though Cole apologized. I can't believe Cole apologized, like, bruh, come on, fam. Come on, fam. That's not what we wanted. Yeah, McGuffin, uh, it's over being a rapper, basically. <laughs> the motherfucker's been rapping in the same space forever. Eventually, they're going to be. Who knows what it's really over? Monk Beat says Drake cooked them boys. I'm kind of torn because I'm like, I don't even, I don't even think any of the tracks were that good, that great anyway. They were all decent songs, but I don't think any of the tracks were that great. So, I mean, I don't know. They could all just not rap about it anymore and I'd be cool with that. I just feel like we're we're getting we're about to get let down. I just feel like we're gonna get let down on this battle. the screen for you. Boom. Get over here. Get over here. All right. So the first track I got in is from one Brian Cole, a.k.a. It's Too Cole on the Stream. Wagabutt. What's good, my guy? Welcome. 
Welcome. Welcome on in. And darkest of winter. What's up? What up? I'm only going to be on for a little bit. Uh, my cousin's about to come over here. Uh, and it's been a long day because the video I put out today, I recorded this morning. So it's been a long ass day. I woke up at like three o'clock in the morning or something, four o'clock in the morning and was just up. Nobody was fucking with that video though. All right, it's too cold in the stream. I got you up. Sample flip. Mainly for drum practice. Practice these. Hit the like button one time if you're hanging out in here. Damn, it's too cold out here. And so well, solo well to chill, aka probably the same person. Why y'all why y'all type in the same shit? Why y'all shit looking spammy? Um, I feel like this beat was hard, Cole. Especially it's not your fucking typical style, dude. This shit was dope. Y'all didn't give me no words, though. I would I would freestyle to it. Guess y'all didn't want to hear that today, though. <laughs> I mean, the only thing I have for this beat is I wish the drums kicked a little bit harder. Um, I don't know. Did you parallel process them? Oh, I got you solo. Well, I was like, you, well, I, you don't normally don't be talking like that, but I didn't, I, I didn't know, you know. <laughs> Yeah, the only thing I would recommend is parallel processing your drums. And it kind of 
kind of balancing the sounds a little bit that little synth that lead synth that you had here at the beginning kind of gets lost when everything else is playing <laughs> maybe balancing the sounds a little bit better and then pro parallel processes in the drums so sending the drums to a bus and then putting uh, don't you have not What do you got for parallel processing? I know you at a bare minimum have. What do you have for drums? What plugins do you have for drums? I know you gotta have something for drums. <clears throat> Yeah, if you got not, then just put send everything to a, another insert and then put knock on the insert and then dial in the sound from there with knock on the insert. So send all your drums to the same bus for the same insert and then put knock over that and then process the drums and, and drums are going to smack. Yeah, I saw Panks. You know what? I meant I should have left this in the video that I made when I talked about it in the news report. I couldn't stop calling it Spanx. And I know it's Panks, but I kept saying Spanx and I said it for like five minutes. I kept saying Spanx. And so I had to keep cutting the video up and I should have left some of the outtakes in there. Just had a section where I'm like Spanx, Spanx, Spanx. You know what I'm saying? Just cut it up and it's me like a different angle saying Spanx or whatever. <laughs> up next, we've got Brightish. Yeah, the mix is kind of rough. I don't normally have a lot of bloopers, though. I mean, I guess I, I, I do, but I don't, I guess. I don't think they'd be funny, so I don't put them in there. I thought they were funny. I put them in there, though.
slick, my boy. That mix wasn't as bad as you thought it was. I don't think that it was terrible. I mean, you just need to dial in a few things. It sounds like um, music for like a vampire movie, though. Like, I feel like it would be in like a, a chase scene with some vampires. Or the vampires are dancing and shit. Like, I could definitely see that in Blade. Yeah, you just need a little bit of leveling and some EQ, but <clears throat> I don't think that is bad. It'd be good for a movie or something like that, a video game. Fight scene. Yeah, I could see that too, for sure. Super up tempo. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? You feel me, Bright Sonic? That's what I'm getting at. That's exactly what I'm getting at. Mm. A club scene where they're all fighting. That's what I'm talking about. All right, up next, we've got Dick McGuffin. Fired up, flip. Flip, fired up. I need you to stick with me, okay? I need you to just stick with me. I don't know why this beat makes me think about actually this song right here. This and the beat have nothing to do with, do with each other, right? Um, but just the beat gives me the feel of this video. I don't, I don't know if you know who these motherfuckers are. Flint Flossy and fucking all these dudes. So this shit is all some old ass shit, right? But this is some of the goofiest shit that you will ever see on the internet. Like, uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and play this song real quick just because. Why not? Turquoise Jeeps. Yo, if you don't know about Turquoise Jeeps, this is my cut right here. The name of the song is called Let Me Smang It.
Snap your W-2 and file your taxes 100% free with TurboTax Free Edition. Roughly 37% of tax Maybe I am, maybe I'm not, Andy. That's for me to know. Get the TurboTax app. And for you to not find out. All right, let's go. Let's go. Hey, come on. Hey. 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 Tommy Scratch B. Hey, little lady, how you feeling? It's Hummaboo at the crib, just chilling. Hey. Trying to figure out what I'm going to do today. Do? How about you throw on something sexy and come my oh, way? I got a treat for you when you're going to like it. Snap. I hear those giggles, go ahead and get excited. Yeah. You say in bed that your man is a lame guy. Yeah. Having sex with him is just like watching paint dry. Oh. Damn. That ain't true, but if it is, here's what I'm gonna do for you. And when you get here, I'm not just gonna bang it, I'ma smash it too. So let's just say I'm gonna smash it. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Smash it and blow. Let me smash it, girl. Then let's get crazy. crazy. Hope your muscles warmed up. You can't be lazy. Get loose. This is what I like to call Smash Bang Fusion. Gotta focus, mama. You don't wanna get a cush contusion. I like to mix it up. I like to do stuff. This I shit like to is start so slow, stupid. And then I beat it up. Beat it up. You should be cautious. cautious. But don't be scary. scary. I'ma have you looking like a wild thornberry. The locals got you dry. Well, let me be your tourist. And I'll leave your body feeling like a rainforest. Trend. So let's get it poppin'. Tell me, can you hang? Then let me smang it, baby. Smash it and bang. Let me smang it, girl. Smash it and bang. Let me smang it, girl. Smash it and bang. Let me smang it, girl. Smash it and bang. The way I work that kitty, gonna make your heart sing. Let me smang it, girl. It's just some goofy ass shit to me. Let me smang it, girl. Smash it and bang. Let me smang it, girl. Smash it and bang. The way I work that kitty, gonna make your heart sing. Wayne Fawcy. Smash and bang is my favorite combination. Let's go. Do you get that sensation? It's a love scene, baby, with no communication. Got minds off now to the next location. Hey, inspiration, your mouth fixation. Smanging them jaws is my life's aspiration. And got false loves, ladies and relations. Love it. Call me Marathon. My Jimmy Rugg. Call me Schwarzenegger. My sex game strong. I'm smanging Tarantino from dusk till dawn. I smang it everywhere from the bed to the lawn. Let me smang it, girl. Sorry. <laughs> Back to what I was saying, oh Dick McGuffin. I don't know why this beat reminded me of a diff that other song I was talking about, but I just I just feel like I could see somebody walking down the beach with the wind blowing. And everything, their clothes and their hair and everything flapping in the wind. Or like, you could use this for like a commercial where like somebody is just walking around. So they could be walking around. It doesn't matter if it's like the middle of the city or like a plaza. Maybe not a store. But like... <clears throat> I guess depending on what kind of store it is. It's a good beat though. It makes pretty well. It sounds good. Good sound selection. At the beginning I could hear like Andre 3000 like just talking over it. Like from a butterfly to a cocoon. Or a cocoon to a butterfly. You know what I mean. <laughs> but I could just hear uh, Andre talking over that shit. That song's already gone as viral as it's going to go. That song's like 14 years old. It's got like 18, 19 million views. Them dudes made a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of funny ass songs. They got one. His name, how I found them was a song called How You Like Your Eggs Fried or Fertilized. <laughs> and he's talking to, talking to his girl. 
how you like your eggs, fried or fertilized. Oh, it's all right. Up next, we've got Solomon Rudder, The Last Dance, The Demo. Let's go. the beat was pretty cool it had a nice bounce um i would figure out how to get the to do something else with that vocal as well just because since the whole beat is like the same melody and then like the the melody is the same melody as the singing as well it's not like a different melody when you take out the the singing it, it still has the same exact rhythm and the same melody so I would just figure out a different way to chop that vocal, that vocal for different parts, just to switch up the sound a little bit. It's got a good bounce though. I like the sound selection as well on this. It does sound good though. All right, sorry, I'm just reading y'all's comments. <clears throat> All right, up next, we've got Dan GPT. The GPT is for Gunna. I don't know. Punch turkeys. I don't know why Dan's going to punch turkeys, but that's what he's going to do. The name of the beat is called New Turno Vocals. Let's go. Why does it sound like that Drake beat? <laughs> <laughs> 
that Joinus Luca wrapped over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can I help you? something else i feel like it needs like an instrument because it just has those those vocal choirs going as the instrument with some drums playing but i feel like it could just use something else like the beat just feels like it needs something else yeah like you've got that piano that filtered piano at the beginning but that goes away when the beat starts Like maybe you could use that sound <clears throat> in the beat since it's already a familiar sound since we hear it at the beginning of the beat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can I help you? Like, it's like, I feel like you can faintly hear it in the beat, but I don't know. I would just use that more in the beat and work on the arrangement a little bit and then balancing of all the sounds. So balancing like the drums, the drums feel like they're super loud in comparison to everything else. But part of that is because all you really have is those vocals. So you just have drums and vocals. So maybe turn up that little broken piano sound. And see what you get. All right, up next we got Darkest of Winter, the Darknesses, Transmissions. Let's go. Listen, there's a good chance somebody's trying to hack your website right now. You gotta make sure you're covered. Oh no.
some of this don't sound like it could be on Madden like 2010 or something, 2011, 2010. Like a, a WWE 2K game, like 2K10 or something. hard it reminds me of like a something that you'd hear like i said earlier um in like madden from like 2010 or some shit like that like one of just one of the songs in the video game or like uh you know like a wrestling game um or i could hear it in like some kind of like 2005 to 2010 like rom-com and shit just as one of the songs playing I'm sorry, y'all. I'm probably going to turn on one of these basketball games um, as I watch this stream. Because it's the last day of this season. I mean, I'm not going to... The only thing I really would critique on this... I'm not really going to critique the song because you said it's 12 minutes on. Yo, do y'all remember what I was telling y'all? That's funny, too. About... Um, I was in the car with this Uber driver and I had my earbud plugged in and I was trying to watch WrestleMania and uh, a commercial came up on my phone and the commercial on my phone was like, uh, it was talking about, do you, are you looking for ben, friends with benefits and blah, 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 blah. That shit just happened as we were on stream as I was pulling up this site because the site has games, you know what I'm saying? Like it's got games on it, but you have to go through an ad before you can get to the game. And so it's, it's you never know what kind of ad you're gonna get. It could be a questionable ad. It could be an ad for Kroger. It could be an ad for, for a whole lot of things, man. So you kinda gotta be, kinda gotta be careful. But let's see, what, we'll, we'll go to this. Still looking for a friend with benefits? See? And then you have to let it go for a second All before you can skip, and then boom. There's no scammers and no catfish. Look. Millions of users I'm in the, I'm in the, I'm in the, uh, uh, Try it now. I'm in the Uber like this, trying to tap, 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 and then now it takes you to the game. Maybe. Uh huh. And then that streams down. You see how it do you? This. Whatever. I'm gonna start the next song. All right. Up next, we got R two B two Taylor. Ironically, the name of the track is called Sex Tricks. Right after all that. 
It's a little bit funny. A little bit. Just a little bit. To your scent, clinging to your scent, lingers in the lint of my European lips. Good between the sheets, good between the sheets of paper. I'll give you my pen if you let me put it in that ink. And I like it pink, exactly what you're thinking. I can get your flavor, I can't wait to savor. They like now letters. One and now like it could be mixed a little bit better like i feel like the beat could be mixed better i feel like the vocals could be mixed a little better like with the vocals i feel like there's too much there's too much like added high end eq oh. Just because of the way that the beats makes and it kind of I think overall the track's straight though. It just needs to be mixed better. Is kind of hectic. 
just level everything a little bit better. <clears throat> Songs are alright though. Beats cool, the vocals are cool. You know, other than like the EQ, but the lyrics are cool. Creaxon, what's good? I only got a couple more minutes, y'all. My cousin's almost here. All right, up next, we've got Spelunk, Cruise, Monk Beats, Co Shit. I'm good. Let's go. <laughs> Why it sound like this beat was produced outside? It's a pretty decent little West Coast beat. Um, I wish the drums smacked a little bit more. Like, um, what's good, Jordan? Um, ah, oh, little shatter. What's good? What's good? Oh man, I mean, I'm only gonna take a couple more tracks. Um, probably only one more track. Oh. Yeah, probably only one more track because my cousin's about my cousin's about to be here. <clears throat> and I gotta set this table up and shit. Next, we've got Dave. Let's go. Night City.
the music that plays when uh This is the movie that plays in the movie when you're under distress and shit. Like when you're running from the bad guy. Like in The Last Dragon. Leroy! Leroy! And Leroy's hiding from him. This is the kind of music that we we'll be playing for that scene. pretty dope um obviously sounds good for like a soundtrack for something um you picked the movie <clears throat> like i said it would sound good in something from the 80s maybe even the early 90s just as some movie in a some some music in a movie is it ready for a john carpenter movie what do you guys got planned for this week? I want to take a poll and ask the people on the channel, what's the next piece of equipment y'all want to see me get and do a review on? And then take a poll of like maybe three different items and see which one the community picks. And then maybe that's what I'll do a review on. And maybe we'll do that for a while. Maybe we'll do. Um, maybe we'll do that for a while. I think that should be cool. Do different polls and have you guys decide some of the stuff that I do reviews on. What do y'all think? Maybe not everything, but some stuff. Noodle ease. <laughs> uh, I mean, speaking of noodler, I'm gonna get the uh, the Arturia Astrolab that sometime this week, I believe. And I'm more of a noodler than a player. So I'm going to noodle around on that board as I do a review on it. It looks fire though. I mean, the concept, the theme behind it's dope. <coughs> I got to check out the, the build quality though and see what the build quality is hitting for. Cause it is 1600 bucks. That's a pricey ticket. But uh, it's just rough. It's rough. It's a rough one. But you can do you can do dope shit that nobody's talking about, and I'm not gonna talk about it yet because I'm gonna make a video. So obviously I'm not gonna talk about what I'm gonna talk about in the video. But there's some dope shit that you can do with it that nobody's really talking about uh, that I'm gonna showcase. That's for sure. What's up, a cold Odyssey Gaming Galaxies with Nizik? Yeah, man. I 
but I think it would be a dope uh, stage piano. I mean, if it's built well, it'd be worth it. It'd be worth it. Because like the theory behind it, so here's where I here's where I get lost with the theory behind it, right? Because basically it's analog labs in a box, right? Unless you have V collection, but the V collection doesn't come with it. So it's like, is it worth sixteen hundred dollars for analog labs in a box? But then you have to think about it and it's like you don't need your computer to use it. So like basically the keyboard has all those sounds and those sounds sound better than like Yamaha sounds. So they sound better than the sounds in the Modi X. They sound better than the sounds that are going to be in the Phantom. But you can't tweak them as much unless you have V collection. But then if you have V collection, you can tweak them and then you can do so much more because you can have unlimited amount of presets because you can make so many presets. You can do so much with the synthesizers and then you have all those presets. So it's like for that factor, it's worth it. But is it worth it? You know, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to get it and check it out and see. Because I don't have, I'm not like, I don't have to be like, oh, yeah, this is the greatest thing since sliced bread or anything like that when I do my reviews. So I'll give an honest opinion. But it's going to be from the perspective of somebody who's not a keyboard player. So they'll have to take that. I don't have to take that. Y'all get to watch me on camera and be like, dink, 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 Yeah, that's, that's what you get. That's what you get. All right, I guess I'm about to be out, y'all. Um, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all stopping by. I hope y'all have the grandest of Sundays that you can possibly have. I hope your weeks are fulfilled with all of the things that you wish that would fulfill your needs and wants. I wish nothing but good things to you and you and you only and nothing but you. But no, I hope you all have a good week, man. I'll holler at y'all. Peace.